Hello everybody, how's things? Have you had the thunder and the lightning? I think uh, we're maybe just about to have it. It's just started raining, but uh, not to worry, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's, uh, yeah, busy day. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? We've done how many weeks now? Thursday's on the go. Is this the fourth? I do apologise. It's just that certain things have, you know, crept in and at least we've changed the date and we've not cancelled. I would never do that. It's one of these things that it always happens. So never worry about that. So, uh, yeah, crazy. So what we've got today then? I've got a regular, oh, a yellowish tile, pale yellow tile. 342 and on the front I've done a little bit of stenciling and again doesn't matter you can use any colour you like you can stencil it you can ink it you can have it just completely clear if you want and go old school and just stick with a pen but I do have pen pencil torture with me I've got my O2 pen today there you go oh, no. oh the way O2 and I've got some colour pencils lying around as well so are we ready for this one it's uh Shall we make a start? I think first things first, we're going to come in with pencil because I want to just sort of uh, create a couple of little shapes, just a few little bubbles. And I say bubbles, um, I'm going to use my uh, little ruler here because, of course, I want to do quite... Let's have a look. I'm going to go that way around. I'm going to start in this corner. Oh, I've been using a few gilding flakes there. <laughs> Let's move them about. You know, they get everywhere. Because I want to put quite a big bubble... I'm not going to press on too hard because that circle is not going to be sort of seen once I've finished. And then I'm going to put another one here. Again, don't worry about this. You can draw around anything that you've got. All right, you can actually go a bit freehand with these. Let's uh, put another one there. See, that's going to sit behind there. Okay, it does look a bit giraffe-like, I suppose. Oh, kind of thing. See where else do I want one? I'm gonna put one there, look. Okay, I think uh, that's probably enough. I think so. So, first things first, then I'm gonna stick with pen. Now I've got those bubbles in oil with me there. We all sort of know where I'm heading. This one, if you're doing it sort of freehand, it's about there you go, about two and a half centimeters. So it's it's quite a large one. There you go. Uh Lena can't I couldn't possibly say on the grounds that I might incriminate myself. <laughs> For some reason or other. I daren't, I daren't. So here we go. That's how I look. I'm going to put um, a little line in here. Starting, it doesn't have to be in the middle, actually. If it's not in the middle, it's probably better. Maybe sort of slightly off. And I'm going to come up. And I'm going to create a curl. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to curve it slightly, look. And bring it back down on itself. And then around we go and see these little bits. I'm just going to sort of have it look like it's going inside there. All right. So far, so good. OK, so I'm going to bring my pencil back in for a minute. So I want to split it up into five sections. They don't all have to be the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Put some lines in. All right, nice, nice and rough. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. So, next bit then. I'm going to start in one of the shapes. I've got the full sort of a guide there rather than try and do it behind this one. Because so what I want to do is come up, see, not from the edge, from the middle. Let's go a bit bigger if we can. And then I'm coming up and round. Now I want a definite sort of wobble on this. Then back in. You see it comes in slightly at the bottom. Okay. And then back in again. And around. Again, I'm definitely putting a wobble in. And again. You see this one this time, it's gone underneath. That's fine. But we're putting a wobble in. Coming back in at the bottom. And again, see that now? It's going underneath. So it's going to come out sort of maybe here. It's a definite wobble. And back in. So this one now, because we've got this in the way, we, we know what we're doing now. So we can follow that round. 
bring that in there. So we've got that kind of a shape. Okay, so um, let's pick this one. I'm going to put a little bit of a wall there as well. That's it, join that one. And let's do another one here. So sort of following it in. See? Oh, I'll do another one. I mean, you didn't really see that one. So let's have a look round. So here, just so bring it in. So you've got a bit of a fold. Okay. Let me do that. I'm going to do it on all of them. There you go. All right, and let's put some little flicks in. So you're going from the middle out, from the middle out. Okay. Okay. Let's just work that down there. So we've got that kind of a shape. All right, so. We're going to do something slightly different in these ones. Uh, I'll start with this one. Again, doesn't have to be in the middle. It's probably better if it's not. So there's my middle slightly off. And instead of a bubble, I'm going to do one, but I'm going to put a curl in it. Okay. Let's go in a bit more. Now you can see what I'm doing there. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'm going to create quite a, a thin little loop there. And then one at the bottom. And turn it round and the same again. I don't really want it to be a point at the bottom, I just want it to be thin. Okay, if they end up pointy, that's not to worry, but let's go in the middle of those. So each time, it's, uh, it's uh, squeezing in and splitting up that space. So we should now be able to get, there you go, see, another one into those sections there. Okay, you see how they sort of all fit in? One in there, and there, and there. Okay, I'm going to just add a little bit more black at the bottom there. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Okay, like it. What you could do with these is to make it a little fuller, we could add extra sort of curves in, you know, just in a few places. You don't have to do it in all, but see, it just sort of adds a little bit more in. And then once um, that line's removed, there you go. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to do the same now with each one of these other bubbles but i'm not going to start with it in the same position i'm going to start there it doesn't really matter i think it's just a habit just to have it on a slightly different angle and because this one's smaller i'm not going to try for one in the middle and one either side i'm going to aim for two in each gap okay if you can depends on what size your pieces see here this is a little bit bigger so I will get three in and again it's turning it this way let's add a little bit of weight to the bottom there so into this one and as before see it's very definitely not in the middle now you see it's going to give me a slightly different shape but that's that's not a bad thing so again I'm going to imagine it's going under there to that one. It's uh, hopefully going to you know, make the flowers look a little bit like they're all facing slightly different directions. We don't want them all facing front all the time. Okay, so again, look, I'm just uh, splitting more space up and then I'm going to come in the middle. Now, you notice with this, I added those extra ones. Didn't do it here. It's a little bit too small. But uh, we'll have a look at this one, and this should give us some space to do that. You see here, because I've got a narrow gap, I can bring it up and take it slightly under. So we can uh, mix and match a little bit now. I think we've uh, we've done a few flowers now, so as to say, actually, we can probably do that. See that one's going underneath there. Take that one in and wrap. There you go. 
if you've got any larger gaps, put a few little curves in. Okay. Uh, you can ask Chris, but I can't tell. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, what are you like? All I'm going to say is Locket Lane. Now, I did show you a little bit of that on the other video. But um, there's a little bit more to it than meets the eye. So, my lips are sealed. You got everything out of me the other day? No, nothing today. Nothing is coming. Top secret. Surprising and all that. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little look at that. We've got these lovely little flowers going on and we've got this sort of hibiscus-y kind of flower going on as well so we, we need to join them together don't we but uh, let's bring in some leaves uh, there's quite a few leaves that we know of so I'm going to come in with um, this one here and you see him coming in and then up to the point I find if you do that you get a far better point at the top rather than doing it that way but again entirely up to you uh, Chris, you can use the Tiger one. It's uh, not the same, but you could could use a Tiger one. You've got that kind of thing going on. Okay, so we've got that sort of curve there. Let's bring in a line from here and up. Same and up. I'm just going to extend it a little bit. All right. Uh, Vicky, it's tomorrow. That's why I'm being really, really tight-lipped now. Tomorrow it's coming out. You see, same thing again, look. And then around. Now we'll see, it's going underneath. It's going under there. Oh, Wendy, you're going to have to record it. Okay. Let's put another one here. I'm going to go this way. I'm uh, prepping demos as we speak, so. I've uh, got a few bit sorted let's get another one in here so it's gonna go off the tile that's okay all right uh oh heather um i'm not ever gonna say never um animals are starting to sort of come into the fray a little bit so um maybe so maybe so it's uh on my list Oh, Alison, you just never know. Honestly, I uh, I always draw what I love drawing. And it's just lovely that other people like it too. But we'll see. We make them ourselves, don't we? So we should be all right. Okay, so we can extend that a little bit up there. Okay. There. Uh, yes, Chris, they will be on the website next week. Just do a... Uh, Sort of hobby maker out first and then uh, from there. Because, of course, if you're in America, you can order it from Hobby Maker now as well. If it's my stuff. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've rubbed those little bits out. There you go. Okay, there you go. That sort of starts us off there. So I'm going to bring up here, let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to bring a curl. You can see it, my hand's already going. <laughs> Go into the uh, the sort of shape there. So let's put this in. See, I'm following it through. And I'm going to take the curl this way. All right, it's quite an open sort of one there. And then coming in, I'm going to create that sort of extra space there. Now, to give this a bit of interest, from where I ended there, let's just go in a little bit more. Oh, give me one second. Oh, it doesn't want to move. There you go. So from there, I'm going to come out, create like a, a wavy shape. And again, a wavy shape. And then again, so it's going to go under there and maybe come out there. Okay. There's that one. So let's do another and I'm going to go the same way, but I'm not going to go all the way down here. I'm going to start here. I'm going to bring in that way. So it's just going underneath that flower there. And then again, 
have that little wave to it. Okay. So let's bring something similar now to this side here. So you see, rather than try and draw it the other way, I've, I've turned it round and I'm going to be walking it on this way. So again, I'm going to imagine where I'm going to be drawing this curl and then up and around it goes and then thicken it and then if you can do it all in one go now see it sort of wobbles off there okay and then another so again this time I'm going to come sort of slightly more up here behind that flower now again your flowers are going to be in slightly different places just as your curls are so don't think it's got to be exactly the same. It's just a design, just an idea. Okay, so we've got sort of two curls there and two curls there. So I've got a bit of a gap here. What I want to do, I'm going to bring in just the top end of one of those leaves. This gives it a little bit more interest down that bottom edge. And I'm going to put one in here. Again, you see I'm going up to the point making that real nice sort of end there and in we go so let's get it so there just extend that a little bit it gives us that so far so good okay so let's have a look at this top end and again i'm going to just add another of those leaves yes it's nice to actually come in and just Mix a few round, add a few tangles in, and then make a decision as to if you're going to add more. I think it works really well. Okay. All right. Next bit then. So, sort of working again. I'm going to work upside down. I find it easier to do it this way because I want to put um, a little bit of uh, sort of a grass in. So, I'm going to start here. Look, it's going to come up and round up here. And then the same sort of thing again. See, it's sort of there. And then let's just follow it, making sure. Because I want it to come to a very fine point at the top there. Let's go in a bit more. Uh, Rose? Yes, I have. Would you like to know what colours I used? Just give me one second. And I'll tell you because they're right here. So um, I started with, let's have a look at this one. Lemon meringue. There you go. That was the first one. And I, I touched in oh, a little bit of tangerine as well, just sort of on the edge. You see, you can see it a bit more there. Okay. So let's put a few more of these little, little grasses in. Working it up and along. Okay. See how fine they are at the top. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn. Now nah, that's cheeky. Come on, come on. I've already given you a clue. <laughs> Do you make me laugh? Do you open Christmas presents before Christmas Day? <laughs> Gonna bring another one of those grasses out here. See, so that. That flower doesn't look like it's all on its own. There you go. <laughs> let's do a few here as well. So let's bring it sort of out and up and round here. Now, if you feel better drawing these in with pencil first, go ahead and do that. Or even if you put that first line in. Just easy, I think, sometimes to follow it. In we go. Okay, and again. Always better to get that point if you go towards it. Alright, liking that. Do we get another one in? I think so. Let's put one in there. And along. See, just to that bit of a point. Okay, so far so good. It's looking nice, isn't it? Okay, right, let's have a look. And um, bring in sort of up here. I'm going to come out this way and put a bobble on, fill it in. 
but instead of leaving it as that, I'm going to extend the line and just sort of join it together. Okay, I'm going to do that again, but uh, I'm going in the opposite direction, see, so I'm coming down and I'm going to put that kind of a shape on. So see, it's a bobble, so there's the bobble look. And then I extended the line and just curved it in. Oh, Lynn, the, the cloud inks are uh, Creative Expressions ink pads. Say ink pads. They uh, they blend ever so well. They're quite juicy. Hang on a second. Rather than it being a, a flat ink pad, they're sort of like um, they go like a sponge kind of thing. So um, you see they're quite wet. But they they do blend really nicely. Okay, let's have a look at that. You see where you've got these little extra bits in. We don't want a lot of them, but I'm going to bring a few in. You see how it gives it a bit of extra interest in there. So you can go in front or behind because, of course, if you're filling them in with that black ink there, it doesn't matter where. where are you? So a couple of zingers. We've not done zingers in ages, have we? So let's bring one in. If you've never done one of these, where have you been? <laughs> Let's do it. See, I've put bobble on and I'm going to go around it. And then again, each time it gets smaller and smaller. All right. Okay. So let's find a, another one maybe sort of hidden in there. Going behind that one. And then working in and around. Let's do one there. Again, I'm going to have it so it's going sort of behind. There we go. Let's have a little look at that. All right, so we've sort of got, we've got one, two, we've got three in. I think uh, there's sort of one more here. There we are. Just sort of evens it up. Okay. So next little bit then, uh, we've got a little bit of an area here. We could leave that, it's a lovely border, but I just want to extend it out a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to turn it this way. Now, if you want to, you can come in with a straight edge and you can draw a straight border. But where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? So I'm going to start from sort of here, from where the uh, the grasses end. And I'm going to create a bit of a bit of a wobble. I'm going to get to the end. I'm going to do a curl, but I'm going to stop before it touches the line. Okay, see? And then I'm going to come back down to about there. Okay. So the reason I stopped there is because if I bring in now a second line, following along, I can then go up over and around you see then I can join the lines where I need to and then follow that one down there we go so just on the end I'm just going to sort of slightly round it off just to finish it there okay that's that first part so then sticking with my uh, my pen I'm going to start on this top edge and I'm going to come along and over and then it's going to go under. But this time, see, it's going over, but it's going to come down a bit. And then under and then over. And then under and then over. Okay, see, this time it's going to go over and I'm going to go under there. And I'm going to switch it now to sort of little S shapes going over and under and then at the bottom sort of let it trail off to a bit of a curl okay so working off the top of these I'm going to sort of start with this one here you've got to sort of imagine that this is vertical now we don't want any slightly sort of angled 
lines going on here. So if you've got to put a little line in to help you, then this is the time to do so. Because what I'm going to do is slightly wavy dots and dashes. Let's go in a little bit more now, you see. So slightly wavy dots and dashes. Now you'll notice that they're, they're different and different lengths. Okay. Same with this one. Now I know it feels really hard starting with a dot and then doing a dash, but try. <laughs> and if not, you can always do it upside down. That helps. And then this one. So doing dots now and then dashes and then dots. You can see a little bit on the end there. A couple. I'm not going to do every one of those gaps, but just a couple. So I've got that going on there. Okay. So let's bring a bit of uh, shading and colour in. I'm going to do some shading first. So in with my regular pencil, I think what I'm going to do before that, you see I've got those circles or bubbles around those flowers. We don't need them anymore. They're in part of the design. We, we want to remove them. Okay. Okay. Let's go out a little bit. So first things first, underneath this section, so I'm, I'm going to actually add colour to this flower, but I want to have some shadow underneath it so not being seriously neat looking my way around it so it's gonna go over the top of those leaves and then I'm gonna bring it around the leaves then there and then underneath that one there a little bit on the top and same with that Okay, it's going to give me a little bit of shadow underneath, and that's what I'm after there. So, extra bits and pieces, my grasses, just sort of on that bottom edge. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, pencil if I can see the bottom edge. Just need a little bit of something. And then, of course, these little shapes here. It's going to add a little bit, you know, in the sort of the bulk area. There. A little bit so let's do that on all of them just sort of where it's a little bit fatter I can do the pointy bits as well okay I'm just gonna wrap it up there just went a bit crazy okay so let's come on in where my leaves are see this is sort of those little veins within the leaves just start moving them up a little bit and then looking at my leaves, I'm going to add some sort of to the bottom edge. So you decide where that is on yours. So you see here, it could be both. It could be either. So I'm going to go with that one. It doesn't matter. You choose that one. And then my flowers. I'm going to add pencil around the inside and then little bits on that top edge as well a bit of that grass now of course you could choose to color the whole thing in with different colors if you want to so I'm, I'm opting today to go in with the color on just one flower but i think i'm going to bring in my black pencil maybe or maybe my purple okay that's that bit done same on here, look I'm going to come on in where that curls, just come down a little bit and then this way, a little bit of shadow underneath there on that top row. Okay, so back in with the tortillon and let's start with, I might as well start up here being that I'm already here, just nice and gentle. I want to give that a little bit of shade there, just underneath, there you go, I just want to ease, ease it out, nice and gentle, okay, 
and then just sort of balloon it down a bit. I'm not trying to completely cover it, I just want to give it a little bit of something there. Oh, well, thank you, Nadia. It's, uh, we, we do these things now and again, don't we? <laughs> a little bit on the... T yeah. I do try and mix it up so you, you're not always doing the same thing. If I'm honest, I do try and teach you something new each time. Or it's uh, almost consolidating something, isn't it? So if you've done it before, it's about trying something in a different way. You see, I'm taking each sort of little bit of pencil I've got now and just softening it off. I'm not trying to fill the whole thing. But just neaten it off. Same with the edge there. You see, I'm going to go around the top and the in the middle, but leave a bit of a gap between the two. There we go. Oh, I didn't put any on that one. That one's easy. I'm just going to go in the middle because it's so small. It's uh, not going to need much there. Okay. And one there. You can imagine actually a nice little sentiment, you know, in here. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? But sometimes, you know, you, you, you can leave a little bit of a gap if you want to. See, so following it round and then into these leaves now. But I do think that over the time we've actually got quicker, haven't we, doing these tiles? Yeah. It used to be an hour, but it doesn't seem to take that long anymore. I think we're just all getting too good. So, oh, see there, I'm just going to put a touch on, put enough on my touch on to do that. So we've now got this bit of shadow across the bottom. So I'm just going to turn it round and just gently swoosh or swirl. I don't want to move it too far, but I just want to swirl it round. You see, and it follows under there and around there. And then along here, and then we've already done that bit there. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so you see it just sort of looks a little bit more like it's... Let's create that so it looks like the end of the petal there. And then, you know, you can change the shape slightly. It gives it that little point there. My leaves. Okay. So I'm going to come back in with my pen. And in and around we go. I'm just going to, where that shadow is, just a little bit in there, I'm going to come back in and draw in those lines. See, that one's going over there, so I'm going to put that one in, a bit on there, and in, and sort of follow it round so you've got that extra little bit of darkness. And whilst I've got pen in hand, I'm going to draw in, you know, if I've got a, a petal that's gone over another, I'm going to draw in that line again. Okay, following the wobbles, just putting that in. And then just underneath here, I'm not going to do all of it, just little bits. Just pick a bit and add a little bit more on it. So colour-wise, let's have a look. Uh, it's got to be a red, hasn't it, I think? Or could it be a pink? I don't know, maybe. Maybe a bit of pink in there and maybe a bit of yellow. Oh, that's light orange. So here we go. Start with, I'm going to start with my darker colour. And let's have a look. I'm going to add some underneath there. Now I'm just doing this lightly, just so you can get, to grips as to where the colours are going to be. So each one is just see underneath 
those little folds in the petals. And then let's do a little bit. See where those sort of flicks that you drew? Let's put some in those flicks. And a little bit up there. Okay. So then in with my orange, which is sort of, I'll say my orange, oh, it's mid peach, which is sort of the mid colour. So it's not, not red, not the darker, which is the red. It's just a bit light. And again, you see, I'm going over where I put that red and lightly sort of extending it a little bit, really. Just sort of working my way around. You see, I'm keeping it quite uneven. Even where I've got that extra bit of shading there, you know, stenciling in the background. With a stencil that I can't tell you anything about. <laughs> Some little bits on there. Oh, Sue, I'm pleased that you've used them. I hope you. Uh, I hope it was worth the wait. I hope you've enjoyed them. So, quite well. I like them. <laughs> I like them, of course. But you know, everybody's got their own personal bests and favourites. So, see now, I'm coming in with that yellow, and I'm going over in areas. I'm just pressing on a bit more, sort of blending them together. But of course. I'm not filling in every single colour because there's already colour in the background there. So you've got these little extra bits showing through. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to bring in my uh, my white just to take off any colour I was using. You see those little gaps? Let's just bring that white in. And there. Uh, Add a bit of highlight in there. Okay. There we go. And whilst I've got it, I might as well add a little bit. Now I know we would usually use our white chalk pencil for this, but being that I've got it in hand, we can do a little bit of white in there, of course. Just little bits on the, those leaves. Okay, almost done. Let's have a look at that. See, look at that. So we just want to make this pop a little bit more. So what, um, what we need to work is we could bring a darker red in, but it always works better if you use something else. So a dark purple, uh, a dark blue. In this case, I'm going to use green. Uh, so as long as it's a darker colour, black would do it. But I think adding a colour in just keeps that warmth. And again, I'm following those sort of little lines that we put in those little flicks. It really helps to give you a, a sort of a sense of dimension in that bottom edge there. Let's take some up that swirl. And then just a little bit underneath where we're doing that. Curl. Okay. Oh, which green I've used? Oh, look, deep green. So come back in with uh, so look, my red. I'm just going to add a touch more in there. I'm not going to press on too much, but you see I'm just sort of swirling it. Just to sort of go over the top of that. I've just put in there. Oh, I know, Lynn. I wish I had done that. Maybe, maybe next time. Maybe uh, when I place an order again. Bit of peach. I'm just sort of really, I'm just sort of burnishing it all together now. I'm trying not to lose completely all that texture. And we want to still keep those different colours there. So just adding a little bit as we go. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, Sue, with regards to Kent, I think. Um, was it Stamparama are doing Kent? Don't know when, but I think they would they took it over. So I'm um, gonna just add a little bit of that green just on the uh, underside. And of course, I'm not I'm not doing Kent this year. I've got Stoke on Trent. We're going there for a day. 
uh, anybody's up for going there we you know uh, do classes all day in there and can take a little bit of the shop and meet a few people so if that's closer than hq that's uh, on the website now for tickets and of course we're going to uh, scotland as well so that's uh, beginning of july we're doing a weekend there to a conference center up in dunfermline so if that's uh, somewhere you'd, you'd like to go again tickets are available for that one come in there come and meet us and do some classes and there we go all right so okay being that we've put shadow here looks great i think because i've got this leaf coming out here it's going to be nice to add a bit of shadow under this one as well so i'm going to come back in with my pencil so if i turn it this way you see where we've got this sort of shape here i'm going to put that shape there see that shape there and then I'm going to wander it in from there it's going to come in you see to the leaf let's just fill that in okay doesn't really need much of a tortillon going on but let's put it in anyway a little bit down there look and then just bringing that dark green in again being that i did it on the other just gonna add a little bit into it there. okay let's have a look at that one. Oh, janet i'll see you there you see it just gives that little bit of lift there doesn't it and again let's just bring that pen in and let's just Go where I've put that shadow. There you go. So we don't want to do that on everything. It, it's just sort of this bottom area. So um, there you go. If we were to do it on everything, it sort of loses its definition, I think. So we could start curling these and adding shadow onto this. But I think that being the main sort of focus point is probably enough. So there we go, a um, uh, little bit of uh, colour in there, bit of uh, shading, a bit of a texture in the background. So last thing to do now is initials as always. And there we go, another tile done and sorted. So, okay, if you're uh, around tomorrow and you fancy watching the uh, Hobby Maker tomorrow afternoon, I think it's one of five I'm on. I'll be doing Lockett Lane, uh, the first show. What's Lockett Lane? Oh, you shouldn't have seen it. It was on the last video. And, and of course, we've got something to do with the, the Highlands on at five. So a few other bits and pieces in the middle, as, as always. So, OK, uh, see you there. If not, enjoy this one. Try it with a few colours. A macro would be lovely, a macro tile. But uh, let me know how you get on, everybody. So, okay, other than that, take care, see you soon. And it's going to be, gosh, tile swap. Now, we are a little bit behind with our tile swap. We are going to send that out on Monday. But, of course, we have got tile swap 26. Is it 26? Gosh, the next tile swap, anyway, on Monday afternoon. So, I'll see you all for that. So, okay, have fun, everybody. See you later. Bye.